a wonderful opportunity as well to learn more about the community, the colleges, the plants, and some of the businesses that are here in the community. We had a wonderful reception last night and really looking forward to bringing you the best that Cornwall has to offer. And one of the things that we really enjoyed reading was this uh, Cornwall Living, a great magazine that's been put out, really giving you the opportunity to know uh, the businesses and the people. And uh, part of that is this big initiative called Team Cornwall. We're joined by the chair, as Jill Latour, great to have you on the show, and his beautiful daughter, Tia, who I think in some time we might be covering her hockey career as well. Jill, uh, it is amazing to see what Team Cornwall has been able to pull off and what it's established. Can you give us a background of how it all came together? Well, you know what, we've, uh, we've been uh, around since uh, about well, 12 years now, and uh, we're truly ambassadors for the city of Cornwall. There's uh, 400 of us. And uh, I think we're doing a phenomenal job. It's been, uh, you know, from the days of unemployment as high as 21% to where we are today, just way below the national average. Uh, so our efforts as, as ambassadors are, are working for us. Are you, is it more in terms of the community building it up, the people that are moving into the community, the businesses that are starting up? Is it, is it more from a living or working or an overall standpoint? It's, it's pretty much overall. I mean, the business community is, is the one that really embraced the program. Uh, but now we have people who are retired and true ambassadors the city and actually some of our better ambassadors are people from the Toronto area Ottawa that moved to the city and said oh my god what a great what a great place to come live and work and play what was the behind the idea of having these ambassadors not only here in Cornwall but spreading them around so that there was you know as a, a true ambassador does spreading the good word well you know and that's our job and a lot of times people are wondering like, what, what's the efforts of Team Cornwall 20% of our efforts are here in town uh, but 80% is all over the world if you, like I said if you go to teamcornwall.com you're gonna see photos of, of us handing our our little hockey cards <laughs> you know from China Japan to you know Germany Europe whatever wherever your your travels happen to uh, to bring you to it, it's a program too that other communities are starting to realize is really a, a, it's working well you know what we are truly successful and we we call ourselves our nation's best ambassadorial program for two reasons is because the relationship that we have with economic development and the Chamber of Commerce and, and the only reason that it works is because it's, we're, we're actually one body. And others have tried, but they also try to recreate another chamber of commerce or another economic development. And you know what? That just doesn't work. You're just separating people. So at the end of the day, one team, one spirit. And as you can tell right now, Cornwall is just booming. Well, we're going to uh, talk about uh, what's happening at the college at St. Lawrence, uh, which seems to be booming there as well, and also bringing in a youth movement that there are young businesses. There are there are really well-established businesses here in Cornwall, yes. but that you've got new, young, upcoming places that are hip and fun and are bringing a new vibe. Is that mm -hmm. right? Oh, absolutely. And as you can tell by the cover yeah. of the Team Cornwall magazine, uh, it's our latest edition. And uh, again, uh, we have some people in the crowd who just come back from Paris, and, uh, <laughs> and she's also brought uh, a number of copies to Germany. And uh, so th that Living Magazine has uh, has really uh, spread out. And, and you know what? It's it's exactly who we are. It's the next generation of business and community leaders, and we're making a difference. Tia, can you tell your dad is passionate about where it is that you guys live? Do you like living in Cornwall? Yes. Yeah. Do you like telling people about Cornwall? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you want like, do you want to talk a little about the Cornwall hockey team that you play with? <laughs> Oh, she's a little like, shy. She's, she's like her mother. Shy, yeah. really? yeah, you are not really like your dad <laughs> at all. It's that been amazing to see your dad at, <laughs> a dad at work. Uh, yeah. So, but it, it's fun, and, and you know, to see dad putting magazines and likes together, pretty neat. What did you see this yeah. morning yeah. when you first woke up on TV? What? The Team Cornwall commercial. <laughs> I did. I saw the Team Cornwall commercial. It looked yes. fantastic. Uh, congratulations on the work that it is that Thank you guys you. are doing. It uh, really you. is making a difference. Uh, and the hospitality here has been uh, absolutely and sensational. And if I could just say one closing w remark is that you, your team is just sensational. I know Joanne Wu is going to uh, she's going to be upset with me for saying thank you. And also Panger, who's back in Ottawa, and, and the, whole, the whole morning crew, is. you guys are just phenomenal. We get what you do, and we're, we're extremely appreciative that you're here. Thank you. Well, it's wonderful to be here, and we are looking Looking forward to sharing so much more of the Cornwall and the businesses uh, here in Cornwall. We're all going to take a look as well. One of the hospitals here in Cornwall. We've got some great behind the scenes looks. Uh, Sarah Freemark is going to be giving us a couple of stories throughout the course of the morning. We're going to take a short commercial break. We're going to be back with more live where you live right here in Cornwall.